Hi, my name is Rafael Behar. I'm a physician scientist at the UC San Diego Moores Cancer Center, where I focus on patients with MDS at our MDS Center of Excellence. I'm Becky Tume, and I'm the MDS patient living in Dallas, Texas. I'm being treated at UT Southwestern, a center of excellence. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'll ask you a few questions about your experience, as I'm sure others would love to hear about what you went through and what you've learned along the way. So I'll start with our first question is, what is your MDS gene mutation profile and how and when were you first tested for it? Um, I, my first inkling that something was wrong was in the 1990s when my primary care physician told me I had enlarged red blood cells. And then um, slowly but surely my hemoglobin was dropping from 15, 13, all the way down. And when it hit nine, um, I was sent to a hematologist who said, um, I think we need to do a bone biopsy. And I said, when? And he said, right now. So um, I had that. And a week later, he told me I had MDS RARS and suggested that I look for a specialist. And that's when I found the MDS Foundation, uh, um, the Centers of Excellence and UT Southwestern and Dr. Robert Collins. And I met with him. The bone marrow biopsy was December, 2016. I met with him in January, 2017. And he said, I'd like to send your tissues and your samples off. And when those came back, um, I had one mutation. SF3B1, which I understand had a, prog a positive prognosis. And um, I was put on the watch and wait protocol. That's great. Thanks for sharing that. And you're absolutely right. I think having SF3B1 by itself, the way you did, is considered a favorable finding and is also the most common mutation that you see in patients that have your subtype of MDS, that is MDS with ring sideroblasts or MDS-RS that we used to call RARS, R-A-R-S. 